Hello everyone. Uh, now uh, today's topic uh, is a very basic thing which I am going to add on to your viability scans. So uh, remember as I tell you in class that when the CRL is less than 5 millimeter and you are not able to see the cardiac pulsations despite all the efforts, despite doing TBS and despite keeping all the precautions that I can tell you in the class, you are still not able to see then you should repeat the scan in the patient to confirm the viability after a week or so. So this is the normal routine that we follow. Now this is one sign which can further add on to your confidence when you are doing a viability scan in, in that uh, supposing you are not able to see the cardiac pulsations at a CRL of around 5 millimeter or more then uh, you, can, you can make use of this sign to uh, know that yes the viability is likely to be very poor later on. I would not say that once you see this sign you can 100% say that yes there will be poor viability but there are very this is a very very strong indicator that this fetus is not going to show you cardiac pulsations in the future scan and it has already it is already dead it has gone into missed abortion. Now let us just see what actually this is all about. Now yolk stalk is basically also we the common more common term is the vitelline duct. Now this vitelline duct or yolk stalk is a tube like area which connects the yolk sac and the mid gut. Usually, so uh, first let me just show you this is the tube like area which connects the yolk sac to the mid gut and it gives supply to the fetus through this uh, from the yolk sac the supplies goes to the fetus through this uh, yolk stalk. Now it is believed that this yolk, uh, yolk stalk usually develops when the CRL is around 3 millimeter, which means very early around 5, 5 and a half weeks or so but it is not visualized on ultrasound usually before the CRL around 8 millimeter. So once the CRL reaches around 8 millimeter or so like you can, you can see the fetus is quite big here and you can clearly see the yolk stalk attaching to the yolk sac. You can also see the amnion. Now this kind of a fetus, if you are seeing cardiac pulsations, it's okay, fine. So, and even if you are not seeing the cardiac pulsations, still you are very sure because the CRL is quite big and you can easily say that this is missed abortion. Then what it says that prior to the development of yolk stalk, embryo is seen very close to the yolk sac like this. Why? Because till now the yolk stalk has not developed. So the embryo and the yolk sac, they will be very close to each other which is a normal thing and some cases you may see little distance maybe but that would be less than 2 millimeter. As the yolk stalk will develop the distance between the yolk sac and the embryo will go on increasing. The yolk stalk may be visible may not be visible but the yolk sac and the embryo the distance will go on increasing and this is the basis of the yolk stalk sign. Now let us see what does that mean. Embryo having CRL less than or equal to 5 millimeter with absent cardiac pulsations. This is what we were talking about. That if we see such an embryo, we usually say that we should need, we should repeat the scan after a week or so. However, if I find that there is an embryo which is having CRL less than 5 millimeter or equal to 5 millimeter, and I am not seeing cardiac pulsations, and I find that the embryo is located far away from the yolk sac that would give me a very strong indicator that this pregnancy is going to be non-viable right so now let us see with examples for example i see this picture i see the yolk sac i see the embryo crl is around three millimeter embryo is very close to the yolk sac i'm not seeing cardiac pulsations what should i do i should repeat this scan embryo is around 6 millimeter close to the yolk sac but I am not seeing the cardiac pulsations yes likely this is a non-viable and most cases I would not need to repeat because CRL is already more than 5 millimeter provided I have done a transvaginal scan keeping all the precautions in mind that I can tell you in class. Now this is the one which we should see carefully I can see the yolk sac and I can see the embryo is very small. Uh, definitely the CRL is less than 5, it was around 3 millimeter and it is quite far from the yolk sac. It is quite far from the yolk sac which tells you that this embryo probably is much 
had to be the pregnancy had to be much bigger than this at the crl of 3 mm we shouldn't have visualized the yolk uh, yolk stalk which means this fetus has, this uh, embryo has already died but still i would say that you can repeat the scan once for your satisfaction but there the chances are the prognosis becomes very very poor the studies they did on uh, this yolk stalk sign it told that almost 100% Uh, fetuses when they were the ones they studied they landed into missed abortion so keep this in mind that whenever you are doing the scan for viability and you find that the crl is less than 5 mm but you are not able to see cardiac pulsations on top of it you find that the embryo is very located very far away from the yolk sac then it usually means that this embryo has that there has been a demise of this embryo and this would not come out as a viable pregnancy uh, second thing that you we are observing in this case is also an add on factor and that is this amnion can you see the amnion if amnion has developed you can see the amnion and you are not able to see the cardiac pulsations that is also an add on thing that this is unlikely a viable pregnancy so i repeat in the end what you have to uh, see if you are seeing an embryo which is less than or equal to 5 mm crl and you find that the embryo is far away from the yolk sac that means the distance is more than 2 mm plus you find there are no cardiac pulsations then usually we will find that these embryos when we follow up they will land into missed abortion why because at this stage we shouldn't have seen the yolk sac present yolk stalk sorry so keep this in mind and in another add on factor also i have told you uh, by uh, since you could see it in this picture that the amnion is seen very well and we are not seeing the cardiac pulsations that is also another factor which indicates poor prognosis so i hope this will be of help so whenever you are seeing such a case you can be almost sure that, uh, you, you can almost predict that yes this pregnancy would go on to be non viable so i hope this would be helpful for you it's a very basic tip thank you so much